Luke, how do you encourage a winning environment today? Well, I think no matter what it is, whether it's business or a team, a football team, uh, it starts with the ability to do things together. You know, we have a motto, and together everybody achieves more. And I don't care whether that's in football, whether that's in business. You can't do this all by yourself. Um, the people that are around you are so critical and important to you, and but they got to be able to believe in the things that you believe in. Um, and if you're all going the same direction, it's amazing what you can do. Right? Do you think it's more of a uh, you know, when you look for a recruit today, is it more of a, a, a talent thing? Maybe they, they should fit into the culture? Is it a combination of things? I think it's a real combination. I'm sure it's no different to what you're looking for. Um, there's things that we believe in, and there's things that we can teach, and there's things that we can impress upon young men. Um, and then there's things that they got deep down inside in their heart. And it's a lot easier and it happens a lot faster and goes a lot better sometimes when they walk in with those things deep down inside in their core um, that you know are really, really important to you and your program or your company. I guess if you could pinpoint like the two or three things that you've learned, I mean, being a seasoned head coach, is, is there one thing that stuck out maybe you've learned yourself or even maybe a, a young student athlete has taught you about, about uh, persevering or, or going forward? Well, I was fortunate to learn at a young age, and not in football, but in wrestling, and um, the ability to get yourself back up. And right. I think that uh, it's going to happen, and sometimes a little bit more difficult in the game of football because when you're playing a team sport, it's a lot easier to point a finger or it's because of somebody else when you know, sometimes you learn those things as in an individual sport and in those certain times, especially at a young age, um, when you really got to, you know, you got to do it yourself. And if you have some of that and you can build that into the program that you have when you go together as a team sport, uh, it can affect a lot of the people around you. Yeah. You know, I was always wondering, in a game environment, you know, with the game on the line, you've got all these coordinators out there and yourself. How active are you, for, for instance, in a defensive coordinator's decision on third and two? I mean, is that something that you, you have a conversation or you trust your coaches or you've built that, you built the kinship to you know he's going to do the right thing because he's learned from me or he's proven to me he's, he's won in this, in this case before? I would say everybody's different. Um, if you trust the people around you um, and you really are got enough humility in right. yourself uh, that you know and understand that they can make a better decision because maybe that's their focus and that's what it is that they do, I'm fortunate. I'm fortunate to have those kind of guys that you can give suggestions to, you've got a really good relationship with, but when it comes down to it, you know, I'm humble enough, at least try to be humble enough at right. times to say, hey, this is what it is that you do. You've studied it even more than me, um, and I believe and I trust you. Yeah, that's great. I mean, I, and I think you said it before, it's the same thing when I look at my business. I've got to, I've got to trust the people around me or it won't allow me to go forward for, for what I do. I guess last thing, is there one X factor that you can think of to say, wow, this is this is something that I always look for in a student athlete or in the program that say, this is this is really what I need to have happen to, to make us a winner? I think it's, there's so many things that you can say. It's hard to pinpoint one. Um, I think the unique thing that I always try to look for, uh, whether it's hiring a coach, a little bit dip, more difficult sometimes in recruiting, but I want to see those guys that have had some adversity. I want to see right. someone say, I, I want to see someone that's failed before. Because if they've failed before, then they've learned how to get themselves back up. They've learned how to adapt. They've learned how to adjust. Right. If they've never been hit in the mouth, if they've never been beat, if they've never failed, whether it's in business, in life, in right. football, it's really difficult to re understand and know how they're going to react and respond. Because in our business like yours, you're going to get beat. You're going to get knocked down. Right. There's going to be some really tough times. And if you know what deep down inside, you know what they've done in the past, you got a good idea of what they'll do in the future.